I've tried to understand this myself, and I've asked the scholars of Islam to help me understand it. It appears to me that it's not so much about what you know, but it's about what you feel. What is in your heart? Because anybody can have a lot of knowledge or a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of influence on other people. But what is in your heart? Because if the heart is really open to Allah, then that's when Allah will have the good relation with you. And I found people in the Hindu religion, Buddhist religion, Christian religion, Jewish religion, that all of them that I'm talking about now had good hearts. And I didn't try to push them to anything. I would just think about what would get us a little closer today to worshiping God on his terms. And I've seen some people that took maybe a year. And I've seen other people, the fastest I ever saw was three minutes. Three minutes, the fastest one. Shall I tell you? Akhbirni. Okay. Naam, taban. I was in New York, and I was starting a speech in the university. And I began with Bismillah, and I was just explaining a few things to submit to God on his terms. A man stood up and he said, I would like to accept this religion. I went, what? He came up to the stage. He said, what you just said is like you're talking straight to my heart. I said, huh? And I, I have a recording of him doing this Assalam. on my website called Hear Islam. Yeah? Uh, it, it shocked me that he came up. I, I said, okay, I can, I can leave right now. I did <laughs> three minutes. I'm happy. <laughs> but many people in that area have opened up their hearts and minds. And mostly I like to see people change their attitude. If Allah guides them, that's good. My idea is if we could just get people to change your attitude and be open, be receptive. Let's be together. Let's, let's talk. Let's, let's not put a, a, a wall between us.